Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial. And uh, today let's look at uh, how to light a character or a zombie on fire. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is a simulation we're going to be setting up and uh, yeah, so if you want to follow along, you can download uh, the character with animation uh, using the link in, I'll be leaving in the description. Uh, the character is from Mixamo, uh, which is a site owned by Adobe, so you will need an Adobe account which is a free account you can download you can sign up for using your facebook or google account uh, so after downloading the character just open up a new blend file and uh, go under file import fbx and select the fbx file you will have downloaded uh, it will come with the character the animation and the textures uh, or for the character so if you want to preview the animation just play back and I uh, should see that uh, everything is set up correctly if you want to preview the textures you just have to go to look dev and uh, you should see the textures are from there yes yeah, so we have the animation set up now let's start looking at setting up the simulation so for that let's add a cube uh, this is going to be our domain a domain is just uh, a way to kind of cut off uh, the simulation as computer simulations take up a lot of computation power and uh, simulating uh, something in uh, in an open area like this would take up a lot of CPU power compared if you contain if you contained it in a small enclosure like a domain like this so this is the use of domains uh, just to cut off uh, the simulation uh, from not using up a lot of resources when it's kind of doing its thing so yeah set up the domain and make sure that uh, it encloses the entire character including including all other character movements let me increase my timeline over here so make sure that uh, none of the the mesh falls out of the the, uh, the domain and I also just give it a little bit of headroom uh, for where the smoke is going to go or the fire is going to escape to okay so now that we have set up that i just select the cube and give it a small property with a type of domain now if we play back nothing will happen we just need to set, set up the emitter and for that just select the mesh or the character and give them a, a smoke property but uh, the type should be flow now if you play back you should start seeing some smoke if you don't i uh, make sure you move your in your timeline indicator to the end of the timeline and play so that it resets the entire animation or the entire simulation so you can see this is what we want this is what we have uh, right now we're just mo simulating smoke and uh, we want to have some fire in there so if you select the character and go to the smoke properties under flow type you should see an option to change between smoke fire and uh, fire plus smoke uh, if you select fire plus smoke you should you'll see that uh, we have fire and we have smoke but because we want to keep this a bit simple i'm just going to select fire so that we only deal with one thing at a time so let's see how this looks and see that's what we have uh the problem you will notice is that uh, the fire is a bit too slow uh, for kind of realistic fire so i want to make it a bit faster and the, the way you do that is by selecting the mesh and uh, give it an initial velocity so if i set this to about 10 it should give uh, the, the fire some initial velocity which would kind of give it some bit of uh, power to it but uh, it's still not fast enough so to increase the speed we can just select the domain and uh, under this domain settings you should see temperature dif difference this should also changing this or giving it a higher value should also increase uh, the speed of the fire as you can see now but uh, our domain is too short and uh, kind of cutting off the fire so i'm just going to expand it or increase it by a bit so that we give it some room uh, the problem right now is now is that uh, the fire is going too high compared to what a normal human would be able to produce so let's reduce that by selecting the character and uh, changing the frame rate here this is kind of the burn rate or how fast uh, the the object burns so if we reduce this to about point one it should reduce how far the frames go uh, but uh, let's give it to give it about point two yes uh, you can also see that uh, the fire is a bit too thick you can see around the arms here it's almost like the fire is not really emanating from the character itself or the skin of the character so to kind of offset that or re remove that 
fix that, you can select the mesh and uh, play around with the surface value here. So if I set it to 0.1, you can see that uh, we get more kind of a fire that is uh, a bit closer to the character, but uh, because the domain resolution we have here is a bit is set to something very very low, we don't get enough fire. So if you want to increase the resolution of the smoke, you just want to increase uh, the resolution divisions here. Uh, this will also give you a little bit more fire and uh, more details in this fire, but it will slow down the simulation as well. Uh, but, and uh, because I'm trying to record this uh, while doing this, uh, I'm just going to keep uh, the resolution to 32 and I just increase my surface back to something more usable. Uh, if you want to simulate something final, you just reduce this value and uh, increase the uh, the subdivisions here, the resolution division. Okay, so I'll end the tutorial here so that uh, in the next part we can look at uh, setting up the material so that you can render this in loop dev and uh, rendered mode. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Leave a like, share, and subscribe.